Welcome to Highline Excel class number 23. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook week for business 214. If you're in the class, just go to our week four website. Hey, you also, so there's the one file. You also, if you want to follow along with importing data, there'll be a zipped uh, folder called O3 import with these four files that we're going to import into Excel. So yeah, we have a website, which could be any website, an access file, an Excel file, and a text file. And we want to import all of those into Excel. Now in this setup, uh, different uh, branches of our business are saving data in different ways. And so we need to bring them all into Excel, and then analyze that data together. So here we are in Excel. On the Data ribbon, we have Get External Data from Access, from the Web, from Text, and other sources. Hey, we're going to start with uh, the text document. So I'm going to click there, and then we're going to search for our file. I'm going to that 03. Some double click in here, 07. And I'm going to take the text, text, double click it. This is the text import wizard. Uh, you also, if you do text to columns, you see the same uh, wizard here. And it's, it's asking what kind of data, delimited, is it separated by commas or tabs or spaces or any other character, um, or fixed width. That's the width of the column. I'm just going to select this one here and click Next. That's a preview preview of our data. Click Next. Here it's saying what is the delimiter. We don't have a tab. Notice here's the preview. Uh, we don't have a tab. We have a comma. comma, uh, And so instantly we get this little preview. It shows us how it will break this data apart and dump it into columns. It also has our um, header names, which we already have on our sheet, but that'll be easy enough. Uh, click Next. Very important step. You can choose whichever columns you want. You don't want this column, just say do not import. You can even format them. So uh, if this wasn't formatted correctly, um, you could say uh, date and then add a format. This is a great trick when you have dates stored as text, and then you can use this little import wizard to uh, convert it back to a date. I'm going to click Finish. And it's asking us, hey, where do you want us to dump this? I'm going to look at the properties. Save query definition. Oh, that means that Excel will know where this file is. It has established a connection. And if you change the data, you can actually re-import it. So I'm going to click OK. Click OK. And just like that, it imports the data. Now we need to get rid of this one because we already have them up here. Right click. I'm pointing to the uh, row hitter. Right click. Delete. Now let's just see. I'm going to click here on Control Down Arrow. Okay, so five, uh, about 500 records. Now we want to get the next. Um, I was clicked here at Control Down Arrow. It got us to the last one, and then I hit Down Arrow just to get to the next cell. That's where we want to import the next uh, set of data. I'm going to go to the data, get external. Let's go from the web. You need to know the address. And I don't know the address, so I'm going to close this. I'm going to go over to Windows Explorer. Um, I'm going to double click this and open it. And it will actually open this file, which just happens to be an HTM file. And I'm going to click up here in the address bar and Control C. All right, so now I'm going to go to Data. Get external data. In 2003, it's uh, Data Menu, Get External Data. And I'm going to say from the web. I'm going to click up here. Oh, uh, that's OK. I'm going to click up there, Control V, and then click Go. Whatever website you choose, and it could be Google Finance or whatever it is, if you see yellow arrows, you can click them, and that's telling uh, the import wizard to import it. I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to click OK. Oh, let's go look at the properties. Yeah, same, same setup here. Click OK, and then click OK. Oh, what's happened? Double click. Um, so again, we have this uh, row we don't need, so I'm going to right click Delete. Watch this. Here's a crazy move. I want to format all this. But if I double click and send this down, it will actually send it down. And quickly point to the, f the uh, 
smart tag and say fill formatting only. Let me do that again, control Z. So I could have just like uh, highlighted this whole column and done um, some sort of date formatting. But now I'm going to send this down and this is not these dates are different than that, so I double click and send it down. I don't want to copy format and content. What it did was actually actually increment by one day. So I point here and I say fill without formatting. I'm sorry, fill formatting only. And it actually just copies down the formatting. All right, uh, looks like we got everything. Click here, control down arrow, and then control. I mean, control down arrow, and then just down arrow to go down one. Now let's import the database. I'm going to go to data, get external data, access. Now right here, this is the Excel's old uh, import data. And actually, I want to show you that the old keyboard shortcut uh, from earlier versions, Alt D D D, Alt D D D. Now it comes up by default on on this, but you can then use that keyboard shortcut to open any file you want. I'm going to click here, and you can click this drop down and say all files, and you can actually use this window or this open window to select anything you want to import, not just an access database. I'm going to go find this access database. Click and click and click. So I got, uh, there's the database. I'm going to double click. Notice we can see all the different file types. We could have used that for our text too, or for our Excel for that matter. Double click. Oh, look, it found uh, two tables in there. And uh, we want this one, so we select that and then click OK. Now uh, it's going to dump it as uh, and create an Excel table, which we're not going to want. Let's look at the properties. Slightly different for the uh, uh, database here, where the access database. That's OK. Click OK. Click OK. Notice what it did. It created a table here, and we do not want that. So you immediately want to say, I'm going to double click here too. I'm going to right, and it imported a column we don't want. Right click and point to table. Let me scroll up here. Right click and point to table, convert to range. Uh, remove permanently, yes. It's going to remove permanently uh, the query definition. Well, we don't want that table. That is junk. So we're going to say yes. I'm going to right click, delete. Then I'm going to highlight this control shift down arrow and right click, delete. This is deleting cells. Got to be careful with this because sometimes you can mess up formats when you do this. It says, do you want to shift cells to the left? Yeah, I do. Now, also, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, well, we'll leave that formatting there for now. I'm going to control down arrow, down arrow, just to get down. And we have one last thing, our Excel. So we go to get external data. I don't see a get from Excel. Here's what I'm going to say from other sources. Ooh. So I'm probably going to have to go down here from Microsoft Query. I'm going to show you another way to do this also, right there. Click like that. And it's saying uh, this is the query. I can pick whatever I want. I'm going to click Excel Files. Click OK. And it tries to guess. Uh, and you can direct it wherever you want, whichever drive. Notice it's looking for an Excel only. But um, oh, so it didn't get even close. It's not. We won't, I need to go way over here to the M drive. So I'm going to navigate to get there. Oh, there it is. So I get there, I click on that, and sure enough, it sees it. I'm going to click OK. Uh, it's found a table, in a defined name table inside of Excel. I'm going to click here, import all of those columns. Next, next, next. Return data to Microsoft Excel or to edit it in Microsoft Query. We're going to return it to Excel, and then click Finish. I'm going to click Properties here. Same thing as the Access one. Notice um, we don't have an option to not get that uh, table in here. I don't see it here. So click OK, click OK. Sure enough, it, uh, it gave us the same thing, that table again. Right click, Table, Convert to Range. I'm going to click right here. Right click, Delete. Now. Um, I'm going to highlight this all the way down. I'm going to show you a different way to bring in an Excel file. You don't have to go through all those steps. I'm going to edit uh, clear all, Alt-E-A-A -A from earlier versions. Uh, 
Here's the, in this version, clear all. Now, um, the keyboard, well, there's a couple ways. One is you can add this button here, import data. And the way you do that is you would right click the quat, point to customize. The, the big important tip is to say not popular, but all. And then you just go to the I section, I, and right there somewhere, import external data. That's the, um, from earlier versions, it'll open this dialog box. So you, then you can add that. I already added it. Click Add, and then click OK. The other way to do it is the keyboard shortcut Alt D D D. And then you can just search for whatever you want, Alt D D D. Th th that's a good method, because then you can get anything. You don't have to click through the ribbon and whatever uh, ribbon items they want you to do. So I'm going to navigate to that same folder. So there I have my Excel file. I'm going to double click that. And uh, again, it's finding two. And the one that I want to use is the define name table data table. And then click OK. Click OK. It's going to do that same thing. Right click, convert to range, right click, delete. And there we go. So we have a, a bunch of data. And notice one thing that's important is that you have a new a field here that says north. That that data is from the north. This data is from the west. This data is from the east. And then finally, uh, we have data from the south. That was from the text file. Now look at this. This is just awesome. Now that we've imported all this data, we have it all together. Now we can just create a quick pivot table and show the totals for each region in a pivot table. So I'm going to go to Insert, Pivot Table, Pivot Table. Uh, there it is. It has the whole range to 2151. One. You can even double check that. I'm going to say in a new sheet, click OK. Finally, I can take the region and drop it here. That's in 2003. That's how you drop it to the sheets. In 2007, you click and you drag to the row labels. And then sales to there or sales down to here. And just like that, we've consolidated all that data by importing it and then making a quick little pivot table. So that's a little bit. I'm going to name this uh, pivot table one. And that's a little bit about importing data. One other topic that I would like to show you, I'm going to click a new sheet. And I would like to go to data, go up to the data, get external data. And I want to say from existing connections. And what's great about uh, Excel is there's a couple built-in ones that are really useful, uh, currency rates. Uh, investors, if you have stocks, and I've done other videos at YouTube. Uh, and Oh, no, here's the stock one. Here's the um, major indices. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click this one. And I'm going to import this data on this sheet to cell A1. And it's getting, and it reports uh, on the various um, indexes. Uh, NASDAQ right there, last, previous. I'm going to insert a new sheet. I'm going to go to data. Get external data, existing connections, uh, and currency right there. Click OK. Just like that, I'll get uh, the currency currency rates. Uh, there they are. You can see British pound to US dollar. So 147 and uh, 93 in US dollar for one pound. And uh, we pay 0.676 pound for one. US dollar. All right, we'll see you next video.